Auz billahi min ash-shaitan rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim today i welcome to all of the biology students to my youtube channel biology with muhammad abdul malik no i am going forward to start our today's lesson uh, that lesson is regarding cellular organization first of all we try to understand about the objectives of today's lesson we just grab the organization of uh, our, uh, our organism on the basis of their cellular, cellular structure as well as on their living habits base no i am trying to start our lesson that is a cellular organization all the organisms have been divided into five major groups these five major groups are given below prokaryotes simply we say that monera is a, a group protists fungi plants animals that are the five major groups of organism that are divided on the basis of their cellular structure into two major groups one is the prokaryotes and eukaryotes uh, second is the eukaryotes i would like to define here uh, to uh, brief uh, about a little bit about uh, prokaryotes prokaryotes are the are those organism which uh, uh, which have not prominent uh, nucleus they have nuclear material but they have not developed nuclear envelope on the other hand eukaryotes are those organisms those organisms in which nuclear material and nucleus is well developed and nuclear envelope is present in the uh, around, uh, around the nucleus that is a little bit about uh, uh, these prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes no i am trying to move forward the organisms in first group are made of prokaryotes prokaryotic cells so we say that pro, uh, monera uh, um, uh, the organisms of monera drops in the prokaryotic cells prokaryotes and secondly all other four groups uh, have eukaryotic cells on the basis of their living ha habits uh, we divide the organisms on their cellular uh, on their cellular organization base into three different categories unicellular organization colonial organization and multicellular organization unicellular organization shows the unicellular organisms only one cell makes the life of an organism all the life activities are carried out by the only only cell single cell examples of unicellular organisms are amoeba pamisium and euglena etc images shows about their uh, nature amoeba pamisium and euglena colonial organisms are those organisms are those, that that kind of organization organization and which unicellular organisms uh, to uh, go to uh, live together but they spend their life independently there is no proper divi uh, division of labor among them each unicellular organism in a colony lives its own life and does not depend on other for its vital requirements example volvox is a green algae found in water that shows colonial organization 100 of volvox cells make a colony uh, that colony shows that about the volvox how volvox residing how volvox uh, living in a colonial segment multicellular organisms cells are organized in forms of tissues organs and organ systems frog and mustard mustard plants are the familiar example of multicellular organization that is a little bit image no we try to uh, uh, see uh, multicellular organisms multicellular organism mustard plant as we have already uh, learned and uh, secondly uh, we see that frog that picture shows about that one that are the multicellular organism which given here we try to get some more informations mustard plant uh, have scientific name of brassica campestris is sown in winter and it produces seeds at the end of the winter uses of mustard plant the mustard plant uh, have both uh, have two uses one is a vegetable uh, mustard plant used as a vegetable and secondly uh, we extract oil from their seeds parts of mustard plant vegetative parts and reproductive parts Uh, vegetative parts are those parts of the uh, mustard plant which do not take part in the sexual reproduction uh, there uh, examples are given here root stem and leaves are the vegetative parts secondly reproductive parts flowers are are the reproductive parts of the plant mustard plant because uh, are all other plants because they take part in sexual reproduction and produce fruits and seeds that's a little bit about the uh, mustard plant now we are going forward to, uh, towards the frog frog Uh, have scientific name ranatigrina shows the multicellular organization the body is made of 
organ system and each organ system consists of related organs all the organs are made of specific tissues epithelial glandular musculate and nervous uh, nervous uh, uh, nervous tissues etc so uh, we try to understand about the uh, uh, last activity that's uh, relevant to the uh, evaluation describe about the five main groups of organisms second question differentiate between prokaryotes and eukaryotes you just if you have to understand if you have an understanding about prokaryotes and eukaryotes eukaryotic cells so just put a, put your uh, uh, your views in the comments third question please discuss about colonial organization for brief note on cellular organization and for appropriate examples uh, in the last i am really thankful to you and just put an exam uh, put one thing towards you uh, if you feel that lessons are good presentation is good so please uh, subscribe my channel and recommend to your friends thank you very much we see you in the next lesson hopefully we see you next thank you very much allah